Hello, and welcome to another Blender tutorial by One Lux Studios. My name is Jared Weber, and today I will be taking you guys through audio visualization within the program. I have set up a basic sound file in Machine over here. It just includes four groups. Uh, well, there's a fifth one. Let me delete that. It just includes four groups that uh, all have different sound files in them or different instruments that are being played. I've set up like a basic little loop, um, so I'll give you guys a little, uh, just a brief preview of what that what that sounds like. And this is the file we're going to be working with within Blender, and it's the file that's going to be modulating uh, a, a parameter, in this case, a material. So I'll give you guys a little preview here. So that's our sound file, and we're going to be taking that over to Blender. Let's go ahead and get Blender opened up. I've already set up a basic scene for you guys, uh, so you don't have to do much. Uh, I don't have to do much uh, poking around and fiddling. This is exactly kind of how it'll work. In the middle here, uh, I have this sphere, and this sphere has six different materials being applied to it. Each of these materials uh, is a different, basically it's, it's the same material, it just has a different color ramp on it. So I'll pop that open for you so you can see it. So on the SoundViz 000 material, we have this color ramp. It goes from black to green to red to purple. On .001, it's a different color ramp. And this is the same for all, diff for all, six, uh, all six materials. Um, I had one messed up but yes this is the same for all six all six materials it's the same exact setup just a color ramp node that's getting plugged into a, an emission node um, that's being plugged into a material output node so we want to do something strange we want to bring in a sound and we want it to affect color the easiest way to do this in blender now is with a system called animation nodes it's developed by a name or a guy by the name of uh, Jacques Luck. Um, he's a coder for, or programmer from Germany. And he has written a program, like a sub-program within Blender, that basically does the same thing that material nodes or compositing nodes do, except for animation. Thus, the name animation nodes. So I'll provide a link so you guys can download uh, the animation nodes and install them into your Blender file, your user preferences, or what have you. And you can access them once they're installed by going to the node editor and just going over to this uh, animation node tree little icon over here and clicking it. What we're doing is we're bringing in a sound. Um, that sound from this uh, program over here called Machine. That's how I composed it. Uh, we're bringing in a sound and we're baking it. So what I've done is just bring in this little sound bake node. If you're in animation nodes, all you got to do is press control A and type in sound bake. And that'll bring up the same node that I have loaded here. You can also press shift A to scroll through the menu, uh, scroll down to sound and bring in that bake sound node. It's the same, same process. Once you have your sound bake node in, you need to pick a sound that you want to bake. So in this case, I have, uh, chosen this, uh, this sound here, Composition C. I have brought it in and I've set up some settings here. Uh, these are the frequency settings on this side. So this is low frequency, high fr highest frequency, the attack value, and the release value. The only one you really want to mess with is this release value. It'll change how smooth the interpolation of the data is. So I've just turned it up to uh, 0.5 to give me a little bit of a smoother result. Once you have brought your sound in, you have your settings selected, just press bake. I've already baked everything, so as you can see, here are my baked, my baked results here. When you are ready to start modulating your data, bring out and evaluate sound node. This can be accessed the same way as before, just press shift A or control A to search for it, 
and pick an evaluate sound node. We are evaluating a single waveform. We're not evaluating uh, multiple equalizer, equalizer frequencies. So with that in mind, all you need to do is go to, uh, in the evaluate sound node, select single as a type, frame, you want to have offset selected, and don't change any of this frame value down here when it pops up. Uh, and then you want to choose the sound that you're going to evaluate. So in this case, composition C, uh, single, it'll tell you exactly what sound uh, you're looking at when you decide to pick it, or which actually exactly which baked data uh, you're looking at when you decide to pick it. I've already got this set up, so I have my evaluate sound node here, and that sound data is getting piped out to six different cycles material output nodes. You can add those the same way we did as before. Just press Shift A, grab a cycle material output node, and plop it down. When you first plop it down, it's not going to have anything going on. That's because you have to tell Blender which node you want to send that data to. So I have this material output node. I want to send my data to SoundViz 000. So I select that. Within SoundViz 000, the material, I then am allowed to select which node I want to send that data to. So this next little box brings up an, a list of a list of nodes you can select from. If I add in, say, a light path node in the material window over here, I can then select that light path node and send data to it. But there's a caveat. The cycles material output node can only output data to nodes that have input sockets. That means a socket on the left side of the node. So any of the nodes that are input nodes like this, you know, texture coordinates, attributes, values, whatever, there you can't modulate their data with animation nodes. However, if I decide to pick this emission node as an output, I can send data to the color or I can send data to that strength socket. Alrighty, now I've already set up, like I said, I've already set up all the materials. I have six different materials, and thus I've brought in six different cycles material output nodes. I am outputting our sound data to the fact value of our color ramp. So when I scrub through our animation, you'll see this fact value start to change. I've also plugged in a debug node so you can see that the data coming from this evaluate sound node uh, you can see exactly what the data looks like over here. So I'm on frame 806, and this is the value of the fact node. It's rounded, so it's not exactly the same as this debug node, but it's essentially the same value. Alrighty, awesome. You brought in your sound, you have evaluated it, and you are now applying it to however many materials you want to apply it to. To make this really easy on you, instead of having to go through each material or each different object, if you have a bunch of them and applying a different material to each one of them, Jacques has written a handy little random material script. So if I go to that first layer with all of my objects on it, my main sphere in the middle has our six materials on it. These other spheres don't, they just have one material that's been randomly applied. The script is up here. It's just some Python that randomly applies the material. All you've got to do is select that first sphere or the first object with all the materials on it in six different material slots. And then select the rest of your object so that that middle object or that main object with all the materials on it is your active one. And then run the random material script. As you can see, it's randomly applying my materials to to all of uh, all of my all of my objects here. I don't know why it keeps getting rid of this node, and it's annoying me. Let's run this again. All right. Yeah, let's run this again. Okay, there we go. I'm getting my yellow my yellow one in there now. All right. So I'm just gonna keep scrubbing through till I find one that looks decent. That one's good. I could get a better one. Yeah, that one's better. Alrighty. So now I have a random material applied to each of my objects. I have my sound data being piped into each of those random materials and it is affecting 
the color ramp uh, interpolation here. If I switch to rendered view, just go to my camera. I also have some random image-based lighting here from SIBL. Uh, it's just a really simple setup. I'll give you guys a link to download that image-based lighting setup as well in the file. Um, it just give me some back. It just gives some background ambience. You have something to look at other than a black, uh, black thing. If I press Shift Z, you'll see all my beautiful colors. And as I scrub through the timeline, all those colors are changing. Yay! Success, 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 success. So now you have brought in sound data to Blender. You have used it to visualize, or sorry, modulate a specific parameter. In this case, we are modulating a material. And that is all you have to do. As you can see, there are tons of ways you can, you can potentially use this. Uh, you could even use it to uh, change the height of an object or scale an object. And that's for a different tutorial. Um, I just wanted to give you guys a really quick, really quick, easy tip on how to bring sound data in and use it to modulate whatever parameter you so choose. Anyway, um, yeah, have a great day. Enjoy, play around, and have tons of fun.